Yo, know, dudes, what's going on? I thought I'd have a, uh, uh, you know, a fun video today, but you know how the mail is slower and slow, slower and friggin' slow. That's as slow as it gets. Even priority. Uh, I thought I'd have this part here by now, but obviously I'm not getting it today. Um, I'm just giving you an update on the shotgun. Um, I'm going to put a new magazine clamp on the front. Because, I mean, it, that's a nice magazine clamp, don't get me wrong. But a lot of people are are saying, man, that shotgun will look really good if you get a real nice magazine clamp. And I agree. And that's a, that's a cool magazine clamp. And you can also use that magazine clamp, believe it or not, as a flashlight holder. You just move it down to the next tube and you can hold the flashlight on, under the tube with that. You can use it for that too. If you wanted to. But uh, I ordered... The, uh, the Nordic, um, just like I have for the Mossberg. I thought it was too tactical looking for this, but I looked at a picture and I looked at the uh, Remington 870 and I looked at the finish. It's going to look really good on here, and plus it's just a really good magazine clamp, and it's really sweet looking. So we're going to replace that one with the Nordic one. Nordic makes it. It's not called a Nordic. Nordic makes it. I don't know what the hell it's called, okay? And uh, just giving you a little update on the shotgun here. And the next thing uh, we're going to do is get a new butt pad for it because you can see, see how white the butt pad is? It's really dehydrated. Now you can rehydrate it with oil or ballastol and it'll last for a while. It'll last for a couple months but it'll turn white again. And once it's dehydrated like that and cracking, it's, uh, it's, just time to, it's just time to fix it. It's time to replace it, um, which is not a big deal. Maybe I can find something cool. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so Remington 870, it shouldn't be too hard to find a bump power for that. So that's just a little update I just wanted to let you guys in on today. And uh, I thought I'd have like a better video because I'm waiting for gun parts. And uh, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, I ordered a new Ed Brown magazine for my Ed Brown because for some reason the Ed Brown manufacturer changed their follower. They went from this really cool folded over follower it, I think it's called a folded over follower and it's stainless steel and it's real slick and shiny it lets the rounds feed off the follower smoothly for some reason they replaced it with your traditional followers that, that Cambridge Jews and Colt Jews and uh, Springfield they're just putting them regular followers in now and I called and I said why did you replace them why would you why would you mess with them and the guy said, well, we, we were doing tests on them, and uh, we found out that the, more tr the newer modern followers were, uh, were handling uh, hollow points better, which makes, I don't make very really much sense to me, but I guess it does. And, uh, you know, wad cutters and flat points, so we went to that follower. I said, yeah, but you had the other follower for years and years and years. It's just proven itself, you know, it, it gave your magazines a great reputation for being the best. And uh, they say, well, they're going with this new follower. So um, I ordered, I hurried up and ordered somebody, uh, uh, one, not some of them, one of the old school, old Ed Brown followers. Not the follower, the whole magazine. And, man, it was expensive, $47. But that's what's shipping. So take eight off it. It was like whatever that is, okay? You know, guys, I can't add. Um, <clears throat> real expensive, but I want to have one original uh Ed Brown magazine with the original follower. Now, if I like it and it does well, I'll order more of them because there's a there's a I found a factory, and the guy has six left. And uh, I said I'll order one off you, and I'll I'll shoot with it. And if I like it and I like the way it loads and all, I'll order the rest of them because they're not going to be making them anymore. So doesn't that suck, man? Don't mess with perfection. So. Basically, Ed Brown got this big contract with these new followers, and uh, not that they're bad. I just don't like the followers with the dimples on them. And I asked the uh, guy on the phone, do you know exactly what that dimple's for? Know what he said? Honestly, no. Thanks, dude. Whatever. But, whatever. I'm just giving you a little update. Um, I had a real good time with uh, <clears throat> IBS Ron. And Rich and Rob, the Jersey guy, and I said before they came up, 
I said, dude, do you have any jerseys like of different teams and different different sports? He's, they said, yeah. I said, bring some up. I want to show them in my video for the new subscribers because a lot of people love sports. I'm not a real sports head. I just watch the NHL. But I know there's a lot of you guys that love football and baseball. And these jerseys are such high quality. You know, I said, let me show them in the video. Let, let them in on it because the price is ridiculous. And the jersey is ridiculously... Ten times better than the ones you'll get at Models. Ten times better than the one that you'll get at Dick's Sporting Goods. Trust me, these are all sewed on, heavy duty, heavy jerseys. You know how I am, guys. I am a friggin' nut. I got, like Ron says, I have OCD with everything. Everything has to be perfect. So I'll just swing this way, just real quick, and I just want to show you some of these jerseys that um, Tadpole 696, that's where you want to go to if you want to get one. And I'm telling you, they're about, I'm serious. I mean, my experience, uh, like eighty dollars, sixty between fifty to eighty dollars cheaper than you would get it at Models or whatever. And on top of it, they're a thousand times nicer because everything is truly sewn on. There's no press, steam, iron, none of that shit. Everything is sewed on. So they're pro professional jerseys. And I just want to show you them. Uh, you got the uh, New York Giants on the right, on the left. Sorry. New York, you guys a Manning jersey. Uh, you got the the, uh, the New York Yankees. Man, that that's got to be. I don't even like baseball, but that's got to be the classiest jersey I've ever seen. I love the New York Yankees colors and their style of their of their uniforms, and they have the you know who has history like the Yankees. They're 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 amazing. Okay, uh, you can get that, and then you have there's a Jets Tebow jersey from the Jet that from the Jets. I can't touch the jerseys because I have them hanging up. And if I touch them, they're hanging like on, on the edge. So if I touch them, they'll just fall. And of course, the NHL jersey on the end, they're my favorite because they're big, they're heavier, there's more patches on them, they have all kinds of shit on them, they look really cool. And uh, they're really, really reasonable, and they're uh, ten times nicer than the ones you get at Models, like I told you, or Dick's, or anywhere. So if you guys like jerseys, I'll put Tadpole696, I'll put the link right under the video. Uh, he can't get basketball. He gets football, baseball, and the NHL. But he can get any teams you want. I even asked him for a, um, I said, like a Flyers jersey from the 70s. You know, when they used to win all the time. I said, I'd like to, I'd like to get a Dave the Hammer Schultz, number 8, from the 70s era. When they won the cup two years back to back. I said, I would love to get a jersey. He said, I'm going to look into it. He goes, I'm pretty sure I can get one. Not positive, but pretty sure. So if he gets me one of them, I'll show you guys. Uh, that if you like if you like that so that's it. I just want to throw that in there real quick and I want to thank them from coming for coming over I haven't had a good time like that in a long time just hanging out no pressure making fun of each other and all that stuff uh, another guy I wanted to say uh, when I got the new um, spot stock for my AR he wanted to know the difference between mill spec and commercial uh, the only real difference is, I'll show you right here. I have a chart, and I'm gonna I hang it up there, forever, forever. I'll show you. This is the difference between a mil spec buffer tube and a commercial buffer tube. All right, I'll show you real quick. I got to get my gay pen out so I can point because my fingers are so chubby, they might cover the whole picture, and I can't show you. It's called a uh, Mr. 45 Bullet Syndrome. Okay. See if I see what I'm doing here. Here's your mill spec. Okay? Here's your mill spec. And uh, the difference is the wall of the whole buffer tube is a little thinner than the commercial. You see over here, you move over to the commercial, it's thicker steel, which I kind of like. Okay? And then down here in the neck of the buffer tube, the notch where the little piston pops up and locks in for your for your buttstock it goes up a little higher with the mill spec it's notched out deeper the commercial it's, it's a little more shallow the outside diameter for the mill spec is 1.15 inches and the outside diameter for the commercial is 1.17 inches so you cannot get a mill spec and try to slide it over a commercial it will not work Okay, so just remember when you're ordering that CTR stock, which is right here, I should have brought the rifle out. 
make sure you know if it's commercial or mil spec because you're really going to be disappointed when you get it and you pay a hundred dollars for it and you can't get it on so just just make sure you know what's going on there's your measurements and uh, check yours before you before you order it one guy was having a problem I told him I would show him that and then uh, I've showed that before but it's been like it was like 200 videos ago so everyone probably forgot about it so I hope that helped you out bro alright guys waiting for gun parts to come in I might go to the range tomorrow I'm thinking about bringing the um, either the M&P or the Glock 23 I, I really want to run that Glock 23 man so we'll see what happens and then get a range video up and then uh, when the clamp cons we'll do a before and after and show you that and uh, just just keep on going thanks for watching the videos I know some of my videos ain't that great and you guys still support and leave good comments I appreciate that that just that's good people that's what that is all right so thank you for all that and uh, that's it thanks for watching I'll talk to you guys soon